Today I'm going to show you how I clean and seal black iron pipes. So I've posted quite a few black iron pipe projects and I get a lot of questions about how to clean the pipes and also seal to protect them from rust. I've always avoided the question because I wasn't really sure so I decided to test a bunch of cleaning products and sealing products and see which ones work the best for me. Now some pipes come with labels stuck onto them and this can be the most annoying part of cleaning them because the adhesive from the labels is a pain to get off. If I can't peel the label off cleanly I'll try to scrape the rest of it off with a knife. But even a vigorous scraping rarely gets all of the adhesive off. I tried spraying the pipes with both Goo Gone and Simple Green to see which one worked better at removing the rest of the adhesive. After spraying it on, I let it sit for about an hour and then tried wiping off the rest of the adhesive. The Goo Gone worked significantly better than the Simple Green. But on the plus side, the Simple Green isn't as harsh on your skin and I think it isn't quite as toxic, although I'm not an expert in this subject. The Goo Gone and the Simple Green work for getting off the adhesive but they kind of leave a little bit of a film or a residue on the pipes themselves. So I also tried cleaning them with mineral spirits, denatured alcohol, paint thinner, and acetone. Of all the products that I tried, the acetone was by far the strongest. It like went right through the grease and dirt on the pipes. It was also pretty good at removing the adhesive from the sticker labels as well. But it seems to evaporate the fastest and it also smells like absolute death. The mineral spirits worked second best and didn't smell nearly as bad as the acetone. The paint thinner and the denatured alcohol also worked but not as well as the other two. Going forward I'll probably keep using a combination of Goo Gone and mineral spirits to clean the pipes. Now that the pipes are clean they're also vulnerable to rust so it's important to protect and seal them. Paste wax is a pretty good option. It's something I use quite often. I've tried both Minwax brand paste wax and also Johnson's paste wax. You just wipe it on, let it dry a little bit, and then wipe off the excess. And it actually has like a nice non-glossy uh, dry finish that keeps the steel looking like steel. I've also had a reasonably good success using mineral oil. I actually used a cutting board oil that's meant for conditioning cutting boards, and I just wiped that onto the pipes. Now, this doesn't come out as dry as the paste wax. It'll still be a little bit of an oily residue that you can barely feel with your finger and it takes a while for it to completely dry on, on the, the pipes. But it's also much easier to apply than the paste wax and doesn't uh, gunk up as much around the edges of the pipe fittings. Now there's also a version of cutting board conditioner that has some wax mixed in with it and this will protect a little bit better than just the mineral oil by itself um, but it also has a little bit more of a waxy residue on it. Now spray-on finishes are what I see the most often on other YouTube videos or on Pinterest posts. And I've experimented a little bit with polyacrylics and polyurethanes, but the thing I don't like about them is that they tend to make it feel a little bit plastic and they make the metal a little too shiny, which in my mind makes it look a little too fake. So I prefer the sort of rough industrial finish, not the sort of shiny plasticized finish. So to recap, the paste wax is my number one choice. It goes on uh, fairly easy and the finish is dry and matte. So aesthetically I like it because it doesn't look like plastic and uh, from sort of a, a livability standpoint, uh, because it goes on dry, um, it doesn't won't, you know, oil won't rub off on your clothes if you brush against a piece of furniture. The cutting board oil would be my second favorite option um, it doesn't dry as quickly or as completely, and so there's a tiny hint of oily residue on it, um, but not enough for it to really rub off too much on, uh, on clothing or anything like that. Um, and it's really easy to apply. Now I'm sure there's a bunch of professional metalworking products, and I'm going to get a ton of comments about people saying uh, how inappropriate these are. I'm just using what I find uh, readily available at a Home Depot and what has sort of worked well for me. But if you do have some suggestions for some readily available products that are great for protecting metal and don't make it look too much like plastic, be sure to leave the, your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in seeing more DIY projects with iron pipes, be sure to check out my website, homemade-modern.com. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.